Tumbles Gym, where you always have a friend. Won't you stay so we can play and have some fun? Welcome to the Tumbles Gym. It's time to begin. Let's play and have some fun. Won't you stay so we can play and have some fun? Hello everyone, Miss Lisa here, and you're watching Steam Saturdays on Tumbles TV, John's Creek Edition. This week's activity is going to be a fun arts and crafts experiment for everyone aged four and up. Today we will be making our very own Play-Doh out of ingredients found in our pantry. It's fun for the kids and relaxing for the parents, so let's gather together today as a family in the kitchen. Are you ready? Great, because class is starting! Today we are back in my home STEAM lab and kitchen table. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. Today's lesson falls in the Science and Art category. This is just one of the many activities you will see in our STEAM classes and camps at Tumbles Johns Creek. If you want more information on our programs, a link to our online summer camps can be found in the description below. First, let's gather all of the materials you will need. For a small batch, we're going to use the following, but you can always double the recipe to make more. You're going to need a bowl and something to stir with. You will need a half cup of flour, a fourth cup of salt, one teaspoon cream of tartar, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, a fourth cup of water, and food coloring or washable paint. Now remember that measuring exactly takes some practice and some time, so make sure that you use a measuring cup. Let's mix our dry ingredients. Go ahead and carefully measure out the flour and dump the flour into our bowl. Next, let's measure out the salt and add that to our flour. And for our last dry ingredients, we are going to measure and add two teaspoons of cream of tartar. Now this part is optional. Your Play-Doh is going to turn out just fine without it. And then go ahead and give that a good mix. Now we are going to mix our wet ingredients. Go ahead and take your water and Add a few drops of your favorite color to the water. Today, I'm going to use blue. I'm going to add about five to 10 drops. Then I'm going to add my vegetable oil to the mixture. Adding food coloring is totally optional and you can add colors by kneading in washable paint after our dough is made. You can even add color, scent, or glitter if you want. Carefully and slowly pour in the water while mixing it into the dry ingredients. dough a little bit in the bowl. If it's too sticky, you can always add a little bit more flour, or if it's not sticky enough, you can add some more water and see what works best for you. After it's mixed together really well, you can take it out of the bowl and keep kneading it on the table. Maybe add a, lot, a little bit more flour to it so it's nice and smooth. Once you have it all mixed together, there you have it. You have your very own Play-Doh. So let's play.
Once you are done creating a piece of art with your homemade Play-Doh, you can actually harden it using the oven to have your creation as a keepsake forever. This happens because heat can transform materials into a material with new properties. You can learn more about how this happens in our steam camps at Tumbles. Now make sure you have the permission and help of your parent or guardian if you wish to harden your creation using the oven. Parents, you can find the baking instructions in the description below. Make sure you clean up all of the materials that we use today and you can actually store your leftover Play-Doh in a closed container like a Tupperware or in a plastic bag just like this. Just make sure that you seal it up. Perfect. Great job today. Make sure you take pictures of you and your child making your own Play-Doh and the creations you made and tag at Tumbles Johns Creek. Thanks for joining us today on Tumbles TV John's Creek Edition. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and like us on Facebook and Instagram and check out our website, johnscreek.tumbles.net. Bye! Goodbye, see you next time. Have a great day. Goodbye, see you next time. That's when we'll play. Goodbye, see you soon. Have a good afternoon. Goodbye, see you next time. That's when we'll play. Goodbye. 4 today.